Step inside this basement room at an office complex in Orem. <laughs> and you'll see some very busy ladies at work cutting, sewing, and assembling something that is very personal and important to young women all across the world. As a woman, this cause just spoke to me. Pictures of the girls hang on the wall as a reminder of what this work is really all about. The project is called Days for Girls. Days for Girls is an organization that helps girls that don't have feminine hygiene. It's something most humanitarian minded people don't think about. Usually it's thoughts of food, water or clothing, but not feminine hygiene kits. I think it's a shock to all of us, me included. I think we just assume that in this day and age, all these girls would have this available to them. But they don't. And many of the volunteers found out firsthand as they traveled to poverty stricken areas across the world. They noticed girls were not showing up for school because they had nothing to use. We and we give these kits out. We teach them about their menstruation and about basic hygiene. And oftentimes my experience has been that they are learning this for the very first time. That's one of the fabulous things about this is when the girls receive their kits, they are actually given an anatomy lesson. They are taught how their cycle works. Um, what this is all about, that this is not a curse, that this is a blessing. The women say many of the girls also think they are infected with some deadly virus. In many countries, blood is associated with death, disease, and dying. When they open this up, this is what they will find inside. Each kit comes with two shields and eight pads that are all washable. It's made to last three years. Also in the kit, each girl gets two pair of underwear, a wash rag, instruction sheet that shows them without words, and on the back is a way to chart their cycle for an entire year. Just to give you an idea how many kits are going out across the world, take a look at this map here. 27 different countries since January, looking at Hawaii, Honduras, Ethiopia, Thailand, Samoa, 10,000 kits in only a few months. Days for Girls in Utah started two years ago. Last year they gave out 20,000 kits, and these ladies only hope to continue to give out tens of thousands of more in the future. We are blessed with so much, there's no reason in this day and age that girls should be suffering and not have access to feminine hygiene. That's why this kit is called Days for Girls. It gives the girls back days of their lives and allows them to be educated.